Right, let's start with the overview. You need to have evidence of some of the features that you've used in Excel. For example, here, uh, candidates talked about the conditional formatting. Um, you can see that they've shown the settings to prove that they actually have used conditional formatting. Here's some more evidence, this time of data validation. You can see again that the settings have been shown. This is more evidence to prove that you actually have used what you say you've used. Also, there's evidence at the bottom to show that the validation rule actually does work. In this screenshot, candidates talked about the spin button and again shown settings. OK, now into macros. Again, more evidence in the assignment overview. Absolutely essential that uh, the macro code is shown here. Otherwise, there is no evidence, unless you put that in, that you actually have created macros. So that's a really important one to go in. That's kind of the divider between Mark Band 2 and 3 as well. Let's get those macros in. Again here, more evidence showing and proving the macro has been done with all that uh, macro code being shown. Really important. The other sort of evidence that you want to put in there are things like sheet protection, the use of named cells, um, and anything else that can't be shown on the printouts from Excel. The next section in the overview is testing. Now, to get this right, all you have to do is read the assignment brief that you were given for this uh, particular assignment. All the details are in there. Here's a candidate, it's not a very good picture, but you can see that the candidate started to fill in the table, which is the test plan for testing. As part of the testing, um, after the test plans, you have to show evidence that the tests have actually worked. So you're again providing proof that all these things actually do work. This is all detailed in the assignment brief. You really do need to read that. Have a go at testing. Here's a little bit more testing. As you can see, the test plan has been filled out and there's evidence of where the figure numbers are. Again, all in the assignment brief. Just have to read it through. The next part of the overview is the research and common standards for the statement of account. So here you would go through and do your research and you'd list the uh, common elements that you expect to find in a statement of account. As normal uh, with any research and common standards, you'd include screenshots from Google which you've definitely cited correctly and you would annotate them. When you've finished your common standards, you should make sure that you have a full bibliography. That's really easy as long as you've cited your sources correctly. The final part of the assignment overview is the use of information. And this would contain anything that you've used in the statement of account, such as the logo, such as the information that's shown in that statement of account, it needs to be listed in the table, uh, the use of information table. So that's really the end of the assignment overview. That's what you should have in there. Uh, you need to re sort of review that and update that. Next, we're going to have a look at the actual spreadsheet itself. So with the actual Excel spreadsheet, we're looking for a well-designed spreadsheet which uses formulas and functions and features to automate all aspects of it. Lots of detail in the assignment brief, uh, which you really need to read carefully. Here's a nice example of a front menu. Very attractive, got some formulas on there working navigation system and some appropriate images. So for Mark Band 1 you need to use some basic formulas and functions, some adding, multiplying, min, max, average, that sort of thing, and some well presented charts and graphs. For Mark Band 2 we're looking for a really good presentation, nicely formatted, correctly formatted, and perhaps some use of validation rules, sheet protection, if functions, VLOOKUPs, slightly more advanced stuff. We're also looking for evidence of the correct use of macros. Here the candidate has created a macro which creates uh, an input form. You can see the button on the right and it's opened the form that you can see on the left. The other sort of macros you need to produce um, are ones that speed up the production of data. So things like a macro to clear the data in a form, the macro to change data in a graph, um, Anything like that will get you through Mark Band 2, moving your way up into Mark Band 3. For Mark Band 3, you need to 
make sure your, your formatting's really good and all your formulas and functions work and it's a highly effective automated sort of system. For Mark Band 3 as well, you need to produce evidence of testing your system and that goes in the overview which we saw a little bit earlier. So the statement of account, the last part of the spreadsheet project, if you've done it correctly in your assignment overview you'll have that research and common standards. Next thing is to do is to create the hand-drawn plan. Nice one here, you can see that it's fairly detailed. The only thing I would add to this one would be some idea about the formulas and functions that would be used in there to create the statement of account, but certainly a hand-drawn plan, lots of detail to get up into the mark bands. The next stage, as always, is to annotate drafts. So the draft needs to be printed out and annotated. Uh, we're sort of expecting to see evaluation of good points, bad points, talking about improvements and justifying why you'd change things. Uh, so we'd need at least two annotated drafts, if not more. And then all you have to do is work out how to get it into Excel and get it working. It needs to be completely automated if possible. Uh, there should be a way of selecting different students and all their details to be shown on screen. Um, this one is not completely done. I'd say this is probably first or second draft. There's lots of bits and pieces to be tidied up on, but it's a pretty good start. Um, and that's it. That's kind of the end of the spreadsheet project. Uh, really, everything you need to know is in the assignment brief. It's all in there. All you need to do now is get it done.